Good afternoon, dear friends, and welcome to this Holy Mass of the Feast in honor of the Archangels Michael, Gabriel, and of course, Raphael. We pray and ask that God, through the intercession of our Archangels, may protect us, may fight on our side, and may give us victory. And so in this Mass, I'll be praying for all of you and praying for your families. But I also want to offer this Mass for those who have birthdays today, especially Mrs. Mary Binan, who celebrates her birthday today, that God may grant her many more healthy and joyful years. Pray also for everyone else who has asked her prayers at this time, that God may be with you, that God may watch over, and that God may give you his favors. Also pray for our soldiers, especially those in harm's way, that God may protect them, that God may keep them safe, and that God may bless their services. Pray for families, especially battling diseases, cancers, tumors, or even the virus, coronavirus, that God's healing graces may be granted to them. We continue to pray for each other as we open our mass with the hymn, Holy God, we praise your name. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy saints are clean. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite I fast domine. If our love is thy reign. Infinite I fast domine. If our lost in his thy reign. Of the loud celestial angels choir set both for raising cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising fills the heavens with sweet accord. Holy, 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 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear friends, I will be offering this Mass for all of you, as I said, and I invite you to bring your intentions, so that from this altar, in heaven, our prayers like incense might rise. To prepare ourselves for this Mass, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you will honor the Holy One, you will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave us other ministries, both angelic and human, graciously grant life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth, and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God and authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell therein. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Our response is, in the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praises. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the sight of the angels, I will praise you, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of my mouth. They shall sing of your ways to the they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of our Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers, you who do his will. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus saw Nathanael coming down towards him and said to him, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered and said, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, I will reflect with you um, on the readings, the first reading, and of course, the gospel reading. Or uh, When God created the world, he created the heavens and the earth, and it is believed that the angels are able to traverse both walls, that means they can, go, they can be sent by God from heaven to earth and return to God in heaven. And unfortunately, we as human beings, as long as we are alive and on this, in this flesh, 
can only function in this other part of the universe, which is Earth. However, we do have a relationship with the heavenly beings, with God, with angels, because God created angels for us, for our good, for our benefits, for our protection. Angels serve at the pleasure of God, but the beneficiaries of their service are you and I. We are the beneficiaries. So technically, we are the masters of the angels. Why? Because God did not call any angel my son for my daughter. But God called you my son and my daughter. Thanks to Jesus Christ and thanks to the gift of our baptism. So, in, in, in the order of events, we are sons and daughters of God. Time. The angels of God created to serve our own protection and make sure that our journey back is and is prosperous. It's up to you. God never forced us or forces us to be in relationship with the angels. No, he doesn't. But he lets us know that they are there for you. They are a powerful resource that you can take advantage of for your good. But it's up to you, it's up to me to choose. And I must say, I don't know about you, but I must say for myself that there are times I have forgotten that I do have these companions on the journey. These friends in need. This protector in danger that is given to us. Or these healers when I'm sick. Because the job of the archangels are all specified by the Almighty God. Michael is almost always out there fighting against qualities and powers for our benefit. Because so every day we would fight principalities, not just physicalities, but principalities, authorities, and powers of wickedness every day. What a greater, what a greater team member. In all the wars. We heard how scripture tells us war broke. That means there was a and the devil was the opponent. There was only one winner. And the scripture tells us and his angels were the victors. They won. That is just that is a picture of how battles go Michael is in any and every battle once we get him on our benefit once he's fighting on our back so but it's up to you and you remember when you read the book of Tobit chapter 14 verse chapter 12 verse 14 and 15 when Raphael came to Tobias he introduced himself, says, I am Rafa, one of the seven angels, you know, that serves at the pleasure of God for his glory. The time with his wife, his, or his wife to be, Susanna, says, I am Rafa, one of the seven angels serving at the pleasure of God Almighty, and definitely for your good. So, Rafa is always out there making sure that we receive the healing mercies of God in good measure. And it's up to you, it's up to me to invite them in. Not about Gabriel, who is not looking for good news? Who is not seeking good news? I'm sure we wake up every day with thinking, when will good news come about this virus? When will good news come about my job? When will good news come about my employment? When will good news come about my child? When will good news come about my marriage? When will good news come about whatever it is? There is one who carries and brings good news. And you're seeking good news. Sure, 
Gabriel will always be the one who brings good news. He is the bearer of gospel. He is the bearer of the gospel. That means the bearer of good news. But like I said, it's up to you and up to me to recognize these friends, these amazing companions that God has placed in our lives and has put on our journey with us. Just as Raphael journeyed with Tobias and brought him to the place where he got married to Susanna and back and protected him against Asmodeus, the wicked demon, God works on our favor. Every day, friends, when we are reminded that you're not alone, that I'm not alone, that we do have a very powerful resource as we journey through the challenges, the difficulties, and in most cases, the very depressing experiences of life, that we are not alone. May God, who has given us these super outstanding beings to be with us, to journey with us, to guard us, to protect us. And above all, to serve as that conduit, as Jesus said here, hear what the Lord said. He said, very soon, you will see the angels coming down. If you believe, you will see the angels coming down. They are that conduit that constantly bring grace and blessings from heaven to earth. May God who has given them to us Help us to recognize their presence and help us to bring them into our lives. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Our prayers today are brought before the Father by the ministry of the pure spirits of the and the self God that Saint Michael may defend and sustain Christians around the world and those who suffer every day for what they believe and for doing right. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who proclaim the truth may be encouraged by the care of St. Gabriel, the bearer of good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That St. Raphael, May console our sick, especially those who are sick right now with coronavirus, those battling cancers and tumors and other dangerous ailments, and those suffering from any form of pain, stress. Pray for those who have mental conditions. Pray for children with physical or mental disabilities. Pray and ask God's intervention through the acts and actions of St. Saint Raphael. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may be humbled before the mystery of the, these angelic beings and show reverence to God in the, on this altar. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always be aware of the ministry of our angelic guardians and bring them into our lives to journey with us every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask the intercession of, the, of our blessed mother, queen of angels, and archangels, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. God, our creator, receive our intentions, as we rejoice in the help of the gracious angels of heaven, gathered around at this altar. May our prayers like incense, rise before you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed thy Lord God of all creation, for three of goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, which become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed thy Lord God of all creation, for three of goodness we have this wine to offer, fruits of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
to my beloved sisters and brothers at my sacrifice, and you must be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay, the angelic creatures in heaven, in whom you delight, rebounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to the, to the exalted above all things. Through Christ our Lord, angels and we united with them in exalt and adoration as with one voice acclaim holy holy lord both heaven and earth are full of your name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy O lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gift we upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. He prayed and entered willingly into his passion. The Lord Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, the Lord took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. With the first acclamation, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, of salvation, giving thanks to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray that particularly we may be gathered into one. Rename and board your church spread throughout the world. Francis our Pope. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, brother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, the Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray using the words our Lord gave us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always, and with your spirit. My dear friends, from me to all of you, may God's peace rest and abide now and always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Look up, my sisters and brothers, and behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes over the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We ask of grace for spiritual communion. Most gracious, most merciful God. For many who are still unable to attend Mass, or could not attend Mass today, but are able to virtually participate today, we ask, O oh God, for the grace of spiritual communion. You know dearly, dear Lord, where they are needy, where they are asking for favors and blessings. We beg that your angels may reach out and minister to all of those areas and all of those concerns. And these favors we ask of you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from its strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snows of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Before the final blessing, let me Take a moment to express my thanks to all of you who were able to join and participate at this Mass. Pray that God may continue to watch over you, that His angels may protect you, may shield you, may heal you, may bring you good news. And may meet every need that you have right now, especially those you have brought here today on this altar. If you forget everything I said, don't forget this, that you remain the delight of God Almighty. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Through the prayers of the archangels, the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, this Mass is ended. We go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will sing the song, Abide with Me. Abide with me. Fast for the even tide, the darkness deepens. Lord, with me abide. When other help, past fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless who abide with me. Come not in terror as 
the King of Kings, the kind and good with healing in thy wings, tears for all woes, a heart for every plea. Come, friend of sinners, who abide with